So I got to check out the new anime, so to speak, of Drifters. Drifters is kind of... It was actually really good. It was a good first impression in the first episode. I mean, the blood, the battle of sh with Shimozu, who we we follow Shimozu, and he's battling. He's like in the the Oda era or whatever. He's a samurai. He's killing everybody for his for his uh, his army, his clan, and then he. I, I like Shimozu. He, Shimozu is a badass. All right, he's a badass. I respect the man who, he knows he's going to die. He needs to hold him back so his uncle could get back to where he needs to be. Uh, I respect the man who says, I'm going to die, but I'm going to make sure your ass gets over there. And I'm going to I'm gonna go out like a G. And that's exactly how he tries to go out like a G. He's going against these guys, this great fierce warrior. And he's killing most of them, but they, they get to him, right? They stab him multiple times. And then they flee because he's able to hit a shot of the main general that was in that other clan that they're battling so he's starting to walk into the forest he's bleeding all over the place mouth bleh, like all over the place right and then he walks into it looks like purgatory it looks like purgatory and i think it is kind of purgatory where it's just a bunch of doors lined up each side and it's a man sitting down on his desk with his newspaper smoking a cigarette and he's like next and Shim, uh, Shimazu is like what the fuck's going on and then that guy just sends him through a door and these two elf guys see find him they call him a drifter they take him to the two other drifters who happens to be Oda who is a badass beast himself and Yorichi and then that's where basically the episode kind of ends or just getting to know Oda and Yorichi and uh, Shim Shimozu himself so Drifters is an interesting concept. I'm very, I'm already hooked on how different eras because Oda's in a different era. He's like 18 years. Uh, he's been gone for 18 years, but he thinks it's like less than a year. Yorichi's like way, like supposedly died. They're not dead. They're not dead. They're just into. I don't think they're dead. They're just in like another kind of dimension, so to speak. They've been taken, and maybe they're there for a reason so a lot of shit's going to be happening in a couple of episodes i'm assuming but what i really like about this anime is it's a different style than a lot of you know your generic anime uh it really reminds me of helsing though reminds me a lot of helsing and a lot reminds me of eon flux surprisingly it kind of reminds me of eon, eon flux with the animation that is and the blood is really great the animation is really great for you just got to really kind of get used to because it's trans watching naruto shipping in and then going to this and a different kind of art style and stuff it, it's it's different it's different but it's a good different and i think uh the action in here was pretty well done the main characters already uh, capture my interest he has it i want to get to know this character and see he, he you already know he's honor is his one thing and he's willing to lay down his life which is really cool but let's see where the story takes our main character and how much he grows and how much uh, we get to know this character even more and he's just not this you know brute who's killing people like a badass like a g i'm just saying but um really uh really cool really cool episode i really felt like this wasn't a you know heart-wrenching kind of mind-blowing episode it was very by the numbers but it was done really well and i think the animation is what really pulls me into it the overall kind of idea of drifters is really pulling me into it why does anime though try to make a guy look so much like a girl yurichi is not a woman it's a dude people so letting you guys know because they didn't tell you but i'm letting you guys know right now it's a dude so i don't i don't get i don't get why they always do that but whatever uh overall it's uh oda oh the one thing though about this episode was the comedy the comedy mixed into the action and overall everything that was happening through the episode the tone was kind of a miss for me because the comedy just comes out of, and then the animation the look of it and everything it, it's, it's taken seriously until the comedy gets brought into it and i just don't think the comedy really works for this series and well at least that comment kind of comedy like oh do, 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 pluck 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 like that doesn't really work for me in this kind of in this episode at least we'll see going forward but 
interesting how they really threw in that comedy, and I just don't think it hit like it should have. So, I'm Dan Manga Day Sun. Thank you guys for listening. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Comment below. Love to hear you guys' thoughts on this first episode of Drifters. Uh, I know it's based off a of manga, so have you guys been reading the manga? And am I, if you guys have been reading the manga, am I looking for some badass scenes like we got in the very beginning of this episode?